So I'm going to do something terrible here. I'm actually going to take some great writing and make it worse because I'm trying to show some common writing mistakes and hopefully I can help improve your writing too. So you never know because with some great editing, your writing can become a masterpiece. Do you know who wrote this? Well, the poor version, this version is mine. I'm the one that actually made it worse. But the best version of this is actually from Cormac McCarthy and it's from Cormac McCarthy's No Country for Old Men. As you can tell, it's kind of dog-eared because I love this book. I love to study it. I read it a lot, and I think that's what a lot of authors do. We learn from the greats like Cormac. Now let's actually try to get this back to Cormac McCarthy's standards. And there are two main writing tips I wanna make here. Both are gonna be about how authors can be concise. So let's dive in. So the setup for this particular piece is actually uh, having a Deputy Sheriff Wendell talk to Sheriff Bell in a trailer. And the trailer is owned by two fugitives who have fled a drug gang. So let me read the bad version for you. They're in a world of trouble, ain't they? Yes, they are. Bell walked back into the living room. He sat on the sofa. Wendell stood in the doorway. He was still holding the revolver in his hand. What are you thinking? He said. Bell shook his head. What do you think? They're in a mess of trouble and we can't do anything about it. Now, why this is worse than what Cormac McCarthy wrote, it's not because there's a lack of quotations. That's actually a stylistic choice by Cormac, and we're gonna talk about that in a second. Now, what I want you to focus on is in the last sentence. I'm the one that actually added those in, and it doesn't necessarily add a lot. So you can see what I did is I actually tried repeating certain words or phrases or points that were earlier on in the conversation, like the world of trouble, they're in a mess of trouble. But you don't need to do that. If you find you're actually repeating yourself in a conversation through dialogue, you can actually delete some of those. I would remove them and really test to see if those are actually needed and do they advance the story or are they too telly? Secondly, I'm actually explaining Sheriff Bell's thoughts through his dialogue. And do you even need to do that? So let's see what Cormac McCarthy did. He did something beautiful here. He actually said, instead of that dialogue, he wrote, he didn't look up. By doing that, what he's done is make the reader think about what the sheriff is thinking. And automatically, just with that little bit of nonverbal cue, I know the sheriff is overwhelmed. I know he's empathetic of the two fugitives. I know he's scared for them. In such a powerful way, without telling the reader what he's thinking, but just showing by these nonverbal actions, his response to a question, his silence, says it all. And I love that. You know, what's, it, it's what makes great writing great. And, and that's what excites me as an author is to see passages like this and hopefully learn from it. And I hope you too. And also the point I want to make about the quotation marks is I really want to caution beginning authors in breaking rules, especially if you don't know the rule well and you don't know why. I would say practice first. Cormac is breaking the rules of not including quotation marks because he felt those little squiggly marks took pulled the reader out of the story for him, and it added value to the work. Now, if you do the same thing without a real reason behind it or knowing the rule or why you're breaking it, it actually may end up irritating the reader, and they may not like that. So what I would recommend is keep practicing until you know the rule really well and then of course, experiment and break it. That's the fun part of writing. So I hope you don't mind. We actually uh, ruined temporarily Cormac McCarthy's writing. But I think what we did is that we're able to show there's some neat points that Cormac McCarthy was employing as a writer about being concise, not repeating points, using nonverbal cues to convey emotion that I think could actually help my writing and hopefully yours too as well. Thanks for watching, and if you like these type of videos, tell me in the comments so I could do more, or hit subscribe. Talk soon.